Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install ControlNet in Stable Diffusion in 2024. ControlNet is a powerful extension that allows you to control the generation process of Stable Diffusion more precisely. So in this tutorial, we'll walk you through the steps to set up and also install ControlNet with Stable Diffusion on your local machine. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into the video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. Before we begin, let's make sure that you have everything you need. Of course, first of all, you need a computer with a decent GPU as both Stable Diffusion and ControlNet require significant computational power. Additionally, you'll need Python installed on your system and if you don't have Python, you'll need to head up to python.org. Basically, go and open a browser, whatever you have. For me, I'm using Brave for you can use whatever you want. Go to this URL section, just type python.org. Uh, basically, you can type slash download right away, or downloads actually, not download. Sorry. So, downloads, hit the enter button, and this should take you right away to the download page. Click on download right here. And once it's downloaded, basically, you'll need to install it. And once it's installed, you should be good to go. Other than that, you will also need a Git for version control. You can get that also. Just open a new tab. Go again to the URL section. Just type Git. Of course, you would like to have like some, uh, both as we said, Python and Git. As we said, just go to this URL to download Python. Go to this URL to download this Git uh, for version control. And on top of those two, once you have it, you will need, of course, a stable like internet connection for both. So once you have them, all of them, uh, of course, it's time to set up the environments for first full stable diffusion. Then you will have to install the uh, of course, the extension that comes with it. So you'll need to set up a virtual environment to keep our installation clean and organized. So you can open your terminal or command prompt, as an example. So CMD, uh, make sure to open it up. Once it's opened, of course, uh, you'll need to navigate to the directory where you want to install stable diffusion in control nets. So you can run the following commands. As an example, first command should be Python, uh, dash diffusion here. So diffusion like this ENV and hit the enter button. So as you can see, I find here like Python is not recognized. So maybe I still did not install it or something like that. But for you, this should run very smoothly. After that, you'll need, of course, to type source stable like diffusion. So stable like this and this diffusion as example, this env uh, or slash bin slash activate as simple as that then hit the enter button and of course once you do so so i'll be following of course and uh, like powershell windows powershell and i just realized i made the mistake like i had the python and downloaded i just misspelled it actually so after that of course as we said we'll need to, uh, to type the following code which is this one then hit the enter button so so basically okay i'll not type even source i'll just go here yeah of course I will, i'll just finish like that on cmd example i don't know if i'll have type it from the beginning but it seems like i should so i'll just go here and do it from the beginning so this then basically i should type this one because i'm on windows yeah i'm on the right like one so once we create the the environment example and activates virtual environment named this stable diffusion env uh, of course, we'll need to install the stable diffusion in there. So, of course, you can go to stable like diffusion, go to the URL section or uh, go to the first link, click on download now and make sure to get the link. Of course, you'll need to download, sign up and get the link from there. For me, I already like have it there. So I'll just go here and type that. And as you can see, it's cloning. Then, of course, uh, wait, let me, it will have to wait until it's finished. So once finished, of course, I'll need to type the following command to get into the stable diffusion specifically as you can see downloaded now you can start installing of course the required python packages uh, using the pipe uh, install you can use pipe install uh, dash of course our requirements.txt and of course so it seems like i need to uh, first of all like uh, upgrade so i'll just go here and do this 
So basically, of course, once if you have it like upgraded and etc., it should be good to go. After that, of course, you'll need to make a directory and as example, name it whatever you want. For me, example. So yeah, for me, it already exists because I've already uh, I've already done this before. So here, I'll just go and move the things on it. Then, of course, you'll need to go and install the control net. Basically, the link for it is this one. Of course, you can simply just go control like so control net in here. You can just go uh, to it and basically, yeah. So just go, basically it's this one, this specifically one, this GitHub. Get the link again and simply just go and add it there. Hit the enter button, it should be cloning in there. Then you can simply CD that specifically once it's installed. So I'll just wait for it until installed. Uh, of course, if you need like more information, you'll find them on their, uh, their like uh, website in here. So you'll be able to find it. And yeah, so I'll just wait for this. Basically after this, you'll need to CD the control net. Then uh, install again any necessary de dependencies, and basically after that you can move the control nets uh, to stable diffusion. After installing like dependencies, you can integrate control net with stable diffusion. You can move or copy of course control net directory into the stable diffusion project directory, and with everything set up, you can start using of course control net with stable diffusion. As simple as that. So let's just wait for this until it's installed. I don't know why it's taking a lot of time. I don't know why the download is low. But it's fine. It seems like it will not take more than 30 seconds. So let's just wait it out a little bit. And yeah, so yeah, of course, it's all done in here. So I'll just go and CD that. Once I am in there, all I need to do, as we said, of course, install any requirements if there are any requirements. And after that, you'll need to move or copy those things in here and of course so move is not like recognized okay i'll just go and then and do this there's no need even for this so it's not recognized okay so maybe okay maybe i'm doing something wrong or something like that so it, this should basically work for you after that of course you can start using it and try it out basically you can try it by typing a prompt as an example so uh, I don't know, I'll just type like a random prompt in here. As you can see, so the prompt is the one in the middle that you'll find like in here. And the other things that you'll have to uh, type for sure. And once you do so normally, everything should be good to go. You should go to the directory on your PC and you should find it right there and you should be good to go. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.